A mayor in Pennsylvania has declared a state of emergency. It happened yesterday following a shooting and murder spree. Four people, including a two year old boy, have been killed in the last week and a half in the city of Chester, which is about 15 miles away from Philadelphia. Mayor Wendell Butler says enough is enough. We're going to put every effort and every uniform uh, source we got on the streets of Chester to implement you know, this declaration. It's very disappointing. But we're not going to give up. The emergency declaration puts five sections of the city under heavy police control and implements a 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. curfew, which is set to last for at least five days. A city in crisis is turning to drastic measures. Chester is now declaring a state of emergency. Hello, I'm Dave Huddleston. Natasha is off tonight. Chester's mayor says a rash of violence has prompted him to take dramatic action. The story is still developing right now. Eyewitness News reporter Ben Seminole joins us live with what's being done to keep the streets safe. Ben. And Dave, that state of emergency takes effect at 9 o'clock tonight. It will last at least five days, likely 30 more after that. With it comes an increased police presence and a curfew in five sections of this city. The mayor says it's all intended to stop a rising tide of violence before it spills out of control. The murder of two-year-old Terrence Webster shot to death Sunday is the most horrific example of the violence in the city of Chester. But it is just one of four homicides in the last week and a half here. So now Chester Mayor Wendell Butler is declaring a police state across five of the most crime-ridden sections of this city. We're going to put every effort and every uniform uh, source we got on the streets of Chester to implement you know, this declaration. The mayor declared a five-day state of emergency Saturday that will bring in state police and federal officers to help patrol the streets. No one can be on them from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. without a legitimate reason, and police can stop and question anyone violating that curfew. Chester's latest homicide, a man found shot to death on the 400 block of Rose Street, spurred the mayor to take action. It's very disappointing. But we're not going to give up. The violence comes as one of Chester's largest projects, PPL Park, the new home of the Philadelphia Union soccer team, is about to open next weekend. The mayor says soccer fans should not be concerned. I'm not concerned. Unfortunately, what I'm dealing with is targeted violence. Now, in order for this state of emergency to extend beyond next Wednesday, the mayor must go before city council to ask for an extension. He plans to do that at Wednesday's meeting, asking for at least a 30-day state of emergency to try to keep the streets here safe. That's the story live in Chester, Delaware County. I'm Ben Simino, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. It is getting out of hand. The senseless violence on the streets of Chester. That's why there are more police out tonight, including state troopers. That's why no one's allowed on the streets tonight. This is the result of four murders in just eight days, one of them a little boy. Saturday night, the big story at Action News is a state of emergency in Chester, Delaware County. The mayor has declared it, police are enforcing it, and our Catherine Scott is covering it. Catherine? Rob, patrols have been out since 9 o'clock, enforcing the curfew that ends at 6 a.m. each day. During this time in the five designated areas, no one is allowed out in public without a legitimate reason, no gatherings of three or more people without a permit. And the mayor stresses this is not to restrict folks, but it's to protect them from the upswing in deadly violence in their communities. At 9 o'clock, the state of emergency officially began. Patrols dispersing to saturate five areas of Chester where homicides are on the rise. I, Wendell N. Butler Jr., as the mayor of the city of Chester. The mayor called the state of emergency after he learned of the fourth homicide in eight days on the 400 block of Rose Street. He believes these acts of violence are not random, but targeted retaliation. Gang related? I call it territorial groups. You know, you grew up in a certain area, you know, uh, so you, you're uh, loyal to that particular area. Um, you know, and like I said, if something happens, uh, disagreement of some sort, you know, um, it, it can evolve out of that. Vacation and personal days for Chester police have been canceled, and they're looking to hire eight additional officers. The state police committed more troopers, the sheriff's department more officers, and the district attorney more investigators with the goal of restoring order in five sections of Chester under the state of emergency. From the west side of Lamokin Street to the city's western boundary, the area is bounded by 9th Street, Morton Avenue, and the city's eastern boundary. From the east side of Edgemont Avenue to Upland Street between 20th and 2701 
Madison Street. The area is bounded by Crosby Street and the city's boundary with Upland Borough between 12th Street and 14th Street. And the area is bounded by Penn and Parker Streets between 3rd and 6th. My goal and, and the paramount importance is to go after these shooters or anybody that think they want to engage in an act of violence. Get them arrested, locked up, and prosecuted. And after five days under the state of emergency, the mayor plans to go to city council for a 30-day extension, which he says he expects will pass. As for PPL Park, the soccer stadium expected to open in Chester this month, the mayor says he is not worried. He says there's going to be plenty of security and officers working the game. His focus now is on those five designated areas where there's been an upswing in homicides. We are live in Chester. Catherine Scott, Channel 6 Action News. Rob. Drastic measures to keep the city of Chester safe. The city's mayor is instituting a curfew in some neighborhoods. It runs until Thursday morning. No one will be allowed out between 9 p.m. and 6 a.m. And at no time will three or more people be allowed to gather outside without a permit. Eyewitness News reporter Elizabeth Hur is live in Chester to tell us what led to this dramatic decision, Liz. Well, we're told the murder rate here in Chester has prompted the mayor to take action. We're talking 11 homicides so far this year, four of them just in the past week. Terrence Webster was just two years old when he was shot to death last Sunday. A horrific example of the violence in Chester, but it is just one of four murders in the last eight days. So Mayor Wendell Butler declared a five-day state of emergency in five of the most crime-ridden sections of the city. We're going to put every effort and every uniform uh, source we got on the streets of Chester to implement you know, this declaration. That means the mayor will get state police, Delaware County Sheriff's deputies, and federal agents to help patrol the streets. Mayor Butler knows the community is equally outraged, and to better protect the residents, he is hoping to hire more police officers. No one on the force right now can take a vacation day. All must work 12 hour shifts, and some of them will work 16 hours a day. Chester's latest homicide, a man shot and killed on the 400 block of Rose. Street spurred the mayor to take action. It's very disappointing, but we're not going to give up. The violence comes as one of the city's largest projects, PPL Park, new home of the Philadelphia Union soccer team, is about to open next weekend. I'm not concerned. Unfortunately, what I'm dealing with is targeted violence. So they may not be random, but the mayor admits it is still troubling. So he says on Wednesday he will go before city council and ask that this lockdown be extended another 30 days, and he is confident that his request will be honored. Reporting live from Chester, I'm Elizabeth Hurst, CBS3 Eyewitness News.